Let's take a look at the lesson function tables. It says complete the table to show how the number of chairs C depends on the number of tables T. Function C is equal to T minus 10. So here we have C which would be our chairs and here we have T which would be our tables. So the function is C is equal to t minus 10. So we can see that shown here. t is 12, and if we take away 10, that would be equal to 2. So here, if we have 10 and we take away 10, what would that be equal to? Yeah, 0. 13 minus 10 would be 3. And 15 minus 10 would be 5. 0, 2, 3, 5. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. This function is C is equal to T plus 7. So this is T, tables, and this is C, chairs. So now it is T plus 7. As we can see here, 7 plus 7 is 14. So 4 plus 7, well I know 3 plus 7 is 10, so 4 plus 7 is 11. 5 plus 7? would be just one more than 4 plus 7, so it is 12. Then we have 7 plus 7 is 14, and 8 plus 7 must be 15. So our missing numbers were 11, 12, and 15. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. So this is tables and this is chairs. C is equal to T plus 7. So T plus 7. So write plus 7 on all of these. We can solve all the way down. And we can double check that it is true. 2 plus 7? Yes, that is 9. All right, 0 plus 7 is 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. 5 plus 7 is 12. So our missing numbers were 7, 10, and 12. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. The function is C is equal to T plus 4. So we need to add 4 to each of these. I like to double check my work by making sure that the number we're given equals what we are adding. So 13 plus 4. 4 equals 17. So it is equal to the two numbers we are adding together. 13 plus 4 does equal 17. All right. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. And 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. So our missing numbers were 11, 13, and 15. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, t. Function is c is equal to t minus 10. So if we subtract 10 from each of these, well, 10 minus 10 is 0, so I know that is correct. 11 minus 10 is 1, 13 minus 10 is 3, and 15 minus 10 is 5. So 1, 3, and 5 are our missing numbers. All right. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. Function, C is equal to T plus 10. So here is T and here is C. So T plus 10. Is it true 10 plus 10 is equal to 20? Yes, those are equal. So now 7 plus 10. 17. 8 plus 10 is 18. 9 plus 10 is 19. So our missing numbers were 17, 18, and 19. All right. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. Function, 
c is equal to t minus 8. Let's see, t minus 8, so 9 minus 8 is 1. Good. 11 minus 8 is 3. 13 minus 8 is 5. 14 minus 8 is 6. So 3, 5, and 6 were the missing numbers. This one says, complete the table to show how the number of chairs, c, depends on the number of tables, t. The function is c is equal to t minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 7 minus 1 is 6. 8 minus 1 is 7. And 10 minus 1 is 9. So our missing numbers were 6, 7, 9. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, c, depends on the number of tables, t. Function, c is equal to t plus 4. So plus 4, let's write plus 4. Let's double check. 11 plus 4, yep, that's 15. All right, let's solve them all. 8 plus 4 is 12. 10 plus 4 is 14. 11 plus 4 is 15. And 12 plus 4 is 16. So our missing numbers were 12, 14, and 16. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. Function, C is equal to T minus 1. So here we have 4 minus 1, 6 minus 1, 7 minus 1, and 9 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. Good. 4 minus 1 is 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 9 minus 1 is 8. So our missing numbers were 3, 5, and 8. Great work.